Hi guys, it's Alice Monique with Vintage Galley Teen. I just came in real quick to show you what I've created. I entered into a swap in your paper pantry. And okay, you might hear a little bit of music in the background because my son is in here with me playing with his toys. So I'm sorry for that. Let me say excuse me and sorry. <laughs> but so I entered into a partner swap and um, the theme that she chose, because it was like an open theme, whatever um, the partner chose was what the other partner was going to create for her. So she chose steampunk, which is awesome. I love that. And so I created this um, altered Altoid box. This is what, I guess, let me show you what the before Altoid box looks like. And that is the after. And one of the requirements, requirements, I'm sorry, is to plop the Altoid box on top of a stand. It didn't matter what kind of stand. So I chose this, I think it's like a 1970s compote it's a small little mini compote and um, I chose this because I wanted it to be purposeful I want her to be able to use this like you know she can put this next to her dresser or you know as a change catcher uh, you know she could put change there or even let me see she can even hang her earrings from there or even just drop her earrings in or drop her rings in there and maybe put her earrings like that. I just, I wanted it to be useful aside from decorative. And I was thinking too, she can even put like one of those tea light candles in here. That's, God bless you, babe. God bless you. And so let me just run you, I guess, through uh, the paper and the elements I used. I used this, I, I'm assuming it's about five to six years old paper. I've had it for a while. I had not been wanting to use this. Um, I, I love this paper. Super cute. Super nice. And I finally got the nerve to use it. And um, I, I, I just love it. I really fell in love with it. And the steampunk theme really, really is working well with this paper. So what I did was I used my E6000 glue to adhere that to the Altoid box. I also spray painted the can with a, I think it's Rust-Oleum Brown. And then I glued down a skull and then I used a crystal ball. I, well, I made a crystal ball with the table, something a fortune teller would have. And all I did was use a thumbtack and a crystal bead there. I put placed some gears there and some gears up here in the front with a little Jolie's bead and then I added this gold angel right there I added that gear and some more of that paper more of that paper right there it's his Paris right there and then some more gears that I glued up together and put the bead or the flat backs and then added a here, there. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Some more gears. So that is my little creation. I hope you like it. Miss Sharon, her name is Sharon. And um, I'm excited to see what she creates for me. So thank you so much, Sharon, in advance. And this was so much fun. So um, I'll leave the links below for your paper pantry if you guys. Uh, are not swappers and would like to do something um, of that matter swapping it's a lot of fun this is I think my third month into your paper pantry and I'm having so much fun and so go check it out thank you so much bye